find where real power is genuine raw power and fire the apex of the power of god is shown in deliverance a dislodging of light over darkness that somebody can walk away free and all of a sudden a man that used to be a terrible man just changes i told you that nobody is intrinsically bad all these drunkards you see around all these liars there is a spirit and the spirit does not go by counseling okay let's counsel young man be nice eh? and he say yes mommy make sure you are nice don't do anything don't steal against you i will never steal you even cry you say thank you you are my boy <laughs> the spirit is outside waiting as soon as the guy comes i will show you the access points he will just step in and all of a sudden that thief wakes up in the night notice how they steal no matter where you hide it the spirit will tell them where it is they don't know it's not that the spirit speaks to them it leads them to where it is you hide money under the carpet he will just stand and look and roll the carpet he didn't just roll it the spirit are we together my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by. I used to stay in area BZ in the, the, the in Ebu there. I remember that night, the night I was tired and I was fed up. Oppression left, right, and center. I said, What is this? Every time it is night, I start becoming afraid because I and my own you see it's a terrible thing for your eyes to be open sometimes because my own I don't see visions as I'm watching you like that that's how they enter they don't knock they don't open the curtain they just come in in rows like that and there's me lying down and my goodness those spirits press me they choke me I'm shouting Jesus nothing is happening once it's evening like that do you know to a point that I don't sleep no matter how big the bed is I will lie down at the edge of the bed so that whatever happens I will try to push myself to fall I know what oppression is it's only a man that loves you that will open up his car like this and tell you the truth are you hearing what I'm telling you sometimes I can sit down I'm hearing two people talking in the physical but to wake up like it's happening to many of you once you go to bed time to wake up is a struggle you will try to wake up something is you will try and later on you wake up physically and you can't tell anybody anything for how long will that remain don't you know that that is the administration of death i'm about to give you a job and all of a sudden you go to bed and here comes a stranger whether it's a man or a woman a boy or girl come sometimes to sleep with you you can even wake up sometimes physically and know that something has happened and you go to the same office and they say sorry leave this place a lecturer said i will help you let's look at the course you get up have you not seen this happen we are not honest enough that's why god will not you see it is when you are honest and open it's not an embarrassment my brother my sister if i'm not ashamed of telling you my own experience be sincere god has given me a reputation today to the body these messages are going very far if i'm looking at my ego i will not tell you what i'm telling you now i will just summarize it and round up and tell you i was always fine i'm saying this to comfort people that if the apostle you can admire today the devil did not even spare him then you better listen to what he's saying otherwise your pride will punish you again and again i'm going to be teaching you the dynamics but i remember that night i got tired and fed up I pray someone will get to that stage where you are tired and say, Lord, this can't continue. It can't continue again. I remember going to cry before God. I prayed that time we used to have long tennis court. I cried before God that night. I said, Lord, you have revealed this thing about my destiny. You have to help me. And the Lord showed me some of the things I'll be showing you now. When I found the light, brothers and sisters, it was raining. I ran from that place i ran to bz and i stood outside in front of my room and i begged the spirits to come i didn't cast them out i begged them to come and if you find them anywhere beg them to come
if I were lying you would have seen the result in ministry because they will hijack anything that can be hijacked are we together I remember when God started talking to me about finances I told you when I was praying and all of a sudden my zinc just opened and I saw a strange being like like um you know how a dinosaur is but the eyes one eye was like the normal human head and the tail had his own life you could disconnect it and he was looking at me with fire and with fury and he just said so you think you can bring God's people into abundance end of discussion I said so this is it this is the spirit that has held the financial destiny of territories of nations regardless of what you study regardless of what you do you will walk hard and eat like an elephant there is a force that is sitting but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by one more time my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by i like you to pair yourselves into three find someone who is serious anybody who is not praying leave him alone pair yourselves into three 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 and you are going to for the next two or three minutes i like you to blast in tongues non-stop this month of july we are declaring war over the gates of darkness lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken pray koidonia Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabara to koto shepegete. Enteke de katamara kato shabara. Le pronto soto pero shabara kata. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived my finances my family arise oh god of heaven my ministry is time to break forth on the left on the right Pray, Oh, my God. 
Alléluia. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. It must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka ta ka ta ta ta. Raka ta ba ta sha ta. Empre ke te ke te ne kotos. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Let this month be a month of intense prayer. Listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. When you are teaching on spiritual warfare, it is important to be extremely prayerful because you are touching the very nerve of the realm of the spirit. Listen. I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. Don't let food cheat you in this season. Because it's not a one-time thing that you are doing this night. I'm going to give you an assignment now. Let me tell you, this month, something must break open. I, I came angry. This mystery, understand it once and for all and be free. Hallelujah. Right. I want to give you an assignment now. Those under the anointing, just guide them. Do you believe in night prayers? Do you pray in the night? If I give you an assignment, will you do it? Anybody? I want to 
I want to I want to plug you into a deep deep mystery it's not just night prayer you just listen the night time is a mystery in the realm of the spirit 24 hour is counted from night to morning not morning till night in the physical we count our day from morning to night in the realm of the spirit it is and the evening and the morning a day starts officially in the night not in the morning are we together and the second mystery you need to know is that the night time is likened to a woman who is ready to be pregnant are we together now the night time is like a woman who is ready to receive seed that's why people die in the night somebody that could survive in the day once it gets to the night they start looking at you and by night they are gone if you can be obedient to do what i'm telling you my brother my sister you'll be surprised just it won't it won't be long just 15 minutes can you do that every night huh? from this night till we finish this series who will do it 15 minutes anytime 12 o'clock one o'clock whatever just try to make sure you will see how the devil will fight you with sleep all of a sudden 11 30 you are feeling as if no matter what you need to do tell the devil you're a liar blast in tongues huh you can play one koinonia message if you want anyone at all and blast in tongues for that 15 minutes and i want you to pray are you getting what i'm saying cry that by the mercy of god i know i've not taught you on the mystery of mercy i'm going to when i teach you on deliverance i will now teach you on the forces of deliverance one of it is the mystery of mercy if mercy does not visit you there can be deliverance thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yet the set time don't miss this series but for now i like you to pray don't be careless you don't have don't do it like a ritual do it with revelation this is not some occultic ritualistic thing but please i beg you in the name of the lord discipline yourself to do this and many of you will see what will happen from this night if you can just get up if you have a roommate explain to the roommate say please don't be angry if you hear me pray you don't have to pray and harass people and disturb people so that they don't arrest you but i like you to pray find a message sit down that's why god gave you a phone put all of these things please hear what i'm telling you just do it every day non-stop you can wake yourselves are we together you can wake up and wake someone else do this thing every night you won't do it forever just do it from now i promise you from now before friday even if you have been praying in the night before just do what i'm asking you to do ah! many of you the first one or two nights you will see the visions you will see those spirits will rise up with anger who is doing this who is touching a nerve you will see it in your dreams don't be discouraged some of you as you pray you will see dreams where they are oppressing you it's a sign that this thing you are doing is don't worry about whatever you see let me give you a side effect some of you will get up in the morning your loved ones will fight you this coming week like never before doors will seem to close don't mind it it's a reaction i'm giving you this because you will be surprised that it is by that time you will find out that your roommate will annoy you something will annoy you. Mm -mm. just take out time do what i'm asking you to do take your eyes away and pray my destiny lord open it up my destiny some of you will have dreams where you will be taken back to even when your parents were small and god will start showing you the movie this is it and you will get up and say so this is why favor is closed are you going to do this may the grace come upon you may the grace it takes discipline but i pray that you will be child like enough to do this do you know that was what i was doing every night i didn't know i didn't know that's what the spirit of god was doing and then light just broke and god showed me something he said this is it 
this is it. Are we together? So take out time. Pray. Maybe just 15 minutes. God grants you grace. You can push 30 minutes. Why not? 15 minutes is fair for everybody. If you are born again and you can't pray for 15 minutes, something is really wrong with your spirit, man. No matter if you minus 15 minutes from your sleep time, it shouldn't affect you at all. Except the spirit of slumber. You see, all these various spirits, you have to deal with them. Manage yourself. Be wise. Don't go and sleep in a place that will not allow you not to pray. Be serious. Are we together? Those of you who are staying in the campus, if God grants you grace, you can walk out, stroll out. Do so in groups because of our society now. Don't just sit down. You have your house, just pray. You don't have to shout and disturb people. But just do that. Be sensitive with your notebook. Be sensitive with your phone or whatever. Because of the extreme revelations. Fire will fall from heaven. And God will just say, this is why the five people in your family don't have children. This is it. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. It was in a night time. Daniel knew why he told the king, wait. Oh king, night is coming. Be patient. When it was night, he went to pray. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. Father, grant us grace in this spiritual exercise. Let everyone who is connected to this ministry in whatever part of the world, those following the grace to be involved in this fully in the name of jesus let it be supplied to you and i pray by the power of the holy spirit that once and for all through this series god will judge the yokes that keep you and your family down forever in the name of jesus wave your hands and give jesus praise we have to close now in the beginning look at the order god created the heavens and the earth we didn't have an opportunity that's how many people are lord is it what is there with stadium is it not just human beings and god is saying there's something there the attack that comes on you when you feel one stadium the kind of stuff came down when it is god he has no time to come key by key the entire foundation